with a yo-ho-ho, -ho, it's Tale of the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play Inazuma 11 Go Chrono Stones. In this episode, we take on the Knights of the Round Table, who are in fact just the Ryman players except for us. Gather ye round, the 25th Round Table Knights Trial will commence forthwith. I'll have to fight with my due, please, Arian. You better pick the lineup. Not that there's a great deal of picking to do, you just want to have all the duplies in. You can't even pull in optional team members like Trump Dealer <laughs> or anyone similar to that. You have a locked lineup. You can move people around. Say, for example, this got this guy's got the Typhoon, so you could make him a forward if you really wanted to. But um, yeah, just gonna stick with the default. Hey look, it's Sky. Oh, Sky gets to be Princess Aline. Arian, yes? We've got to play this game for real. If we fake it, King Arthur will smell it a mile off. Got it, no holding back. Let's do this, guys. We have to do whatever it takes to pass this test. Ha <laughs> ha! These youths certainly seem to have promise. I look forward to them putting them to the test. Yes, father. Arian, Faye, go for it. I, I mean, uh, prithee, let us know your honour. And that we will, so I've made a bit of a mistake, because as you know I like to keep the team levels fairly balanced for purposes as a walkthrough, and I have utterly failed to do so here. I knew that the opponents were level 37, so I got my team to an average of level 37, completely forgetting that um, Faye tends to get a little more high leveled than usual, like Arian's 40, but Faye is 43, and thus, all of his other duplies are also level 43, and so the balance is completely skewed in his favour. So I'm very much over-leveled in that sense. Um, not too keen on this formation, Knights of the Round Table. You're not making very good use of Bylong there. Roma stuffed in defence as well. Shows how much of an offence the Ryman team truly have, but, I mean... There's a bit of an agenda putting Kaiser on the front line, but not Bylong. I mean, really now. Gabi, Roma, form a pincer movement up each wing. Goldie, now attack from the front. Now push forward. I'm going to use Virtuoso. Ricardo's amazing. He can survey the whole pitch with a single glance. How do you even get to be like that? Well, how do you get the option to block this potential shot coming in? They are bringing out a fighting spirit on Victor, and we do not have JP or indeed any real spirit summoner in goal. So the only way you could possibly stop him from scoring right now is to use some kind of special tactic to block him before he gets there, but it's a bit simpler to just, um, you know, <laughs> let him go for it. I mean, I'll use Breathtaker, I'll try to stop it, if anything, just to see what the failure animation looks like. But yeah, so that's technically not a guaranteed goal, but you would have to go well out of your way to stop it. We're better off... <laughs> Where were you looking? Yeah, we're better off just getting two goals instead. What's wrong, you two? You aren't going to pass this test if you carry on playing like that. You guys are good, but we can do it. Everyone, time for the big push. Um, yeah. So that we will. Of course, when Victor was bringing out his fighting spirit, I went and brought out Faze as well, because we only got it in the last chapter. And when he did that, he not only mixy max with Big, but he also armified immediately. So we haven't really had a chance to see Sarabi in action yet. <laughs> you know, Goldie says it more than Faye does in that chapter, so I have to hear it in a Scottish accent. 
But um, yeah, so JP is going to bring out his own and actually make it challenging for us. But we are a fight so quickly. I want to see what the shot of Sarabi itself looks like. Well, if you're just going to come to a standstill, Faye, then that's not going to help. Get out of the way, Saul. Why are you still here? <laughs> Let me go for a shot. So at a whopping cost of 85 FSP, you can go for full moon fever. So Sarabi will be retiring soon. It's not going to last much longer, but that is a powerful shot and puts JP in some real danger. Oh, he nearly stopped that with a raw catch, actually. Had he used a special move, then um, yeah, that would have been blocked. But um, I'll avoid using Arian's fighting spirit as best we can. Phase is going to disappear pretty soon. We'll see if we can get a goal with a do, please, eh? But yeah, it's it's nice to see Sir Rabbi in action after all this time because it was a bit weird that Faye didn't have a fighting spirit despite football being his life and all that. And now, yeah, we learn the reasons. He's had a fighting spirit the entire time. He just doesn't like it. Sure enough, in, in the anime, when he brings it out and then armor fights, he says, by the way, I hate you, pretty much. <laughs> Words to that effect and then just uses it anyway because he has to. But, um... He never quite says the same effect here in the game, but, well, there's a reason he kept it repressed. It reminds him of his abandonment as a kid, and, yeah, fair enough. But now Sarabi is out of play, and Faye is a real asset. He's got the full treatment as a player now, instead of just being plot-relevant, deadweight-ish. Um... You know what, Creepy, I don't think you've really got a chance against a defender like Gabby. We do actually need a second goal to win this at all. To say that we're very over-leveled by the numbers, we're still at a bit of a disadvantage, all things considered. Again, bringing out a fighting spirit with Arian would completely change the pace, but I'm going to see if I can avoid that as much as I can. Kind of confusing seeing all these players in the Ryman kit that you can't control the... It, it really is determined to make me... Ah, oh, fine. Well, no, I regret it already. Why did I click that? I don't need to do this, but well, I have done anyway, because Maestro is coming out. Ricardo um, certainly showing his tenacity as a captain. And it's good to see that again, because, you know, certainly what went through my mind when we were going into Chrono Stones, especially around this time, was like... Well, yeah, why is Arian still the captain? He only became the captain because Ricardo couldn't be at the final in the last match. Shouldn't he take that title back? It was never really explained that it was, you know, wanted to stay with Arian, or at least not in great detail, but I mean, they, they clearly must have. Ricardo has not taken up the title of captain. He's just being a bit of a dude hanging on in the tactics role in the back seat, and it, it works, but... Arian's showing a lot of self-confidence issues about it lately. It's also worth mentioning, Arian is one of the only players to now not have a story-relevant Miximax. Bet you were wishing he could still Miximax with Tezcat around this time of day. I know that I do. I still find it a bit odd that that is locked off. He should just... I know it would be a bit broken, and have, give, having so much power on Arian, your main character, throughout the game. But, like... We're not exactly in short supply of ways to break the game and make it really easy if you're determined to do so. In case in point, you know, I could armify and mixy max Fey and absolutely wipe the floor with these guys instead of using it on a full moon blast or whatever it was called. But, um, oh, I was about to pass to him there, but he's actually offside, so for the time being, we just keep wearing down JP's FSP. And then eventually we might get a goal in the second half. Wouldn't that be nice? Maybe try the Typhoon. I'll tell you what. He used almost half of his gauge just for that regular catch. JP, that wasn't worth it at all. Here we go. Would have had another chance if Gabby didn't trip us up. So, anyway, yes, this is, um... I think we get the point. We are playing against Ryman. It's kind of cool because they're not holding back at all. They're bringing out spirits. They're using all of their special moves and just using their generally higher stats than that of the Duplies to carry the day. And it's only all oh, thanks to our two key players that were really able to make a big impact in that sense, especially if they're going for Virtuoso. I'll tell you what, I will do tortoise shell pattern to just get possession of the ball while Faye's nearby in the goal. 
Um, yeah, we, we do need to win, otherwise we don't get to join the very knights of the round table that we're about to defeat in a football match. But um, it is a nice little opportunity to just unwind and think about how the game is panning out as a whole for a little bit, because we are somewhat reaching the later stages now. Well, we, we are in the later stages. You know, it can, the pacing can always be a bit hard to keep track of, because when you do the chapter with Nobunaga and going back to ancient Japan, it feels like the game's only just starting. You have to remind yourself that actually that's closer to the halfway mark. Why can't I be as good as Ricardo? Ryman are tough opponents to play against, but we need to pass the test. Show some spirit for the Sherwins. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Faye, Arian, we're counting on you. Yeah, I'm putting myself in more danger than I need to. It's alright, Arian's finally going to take possession of the ball and show us what he's made of again. Yeah, again, it's a nice opportunity to reflect on the fact we're cl closing in on the later parts of the game and we've almost got a full kind of Ultimate Eleven going on here. I've, if I'm not mistaken, the amount of story required Miximaxes we've had is now about eight. So, yeah, pr pretty healthy amount. Only that leaves about three spaces left to go. Um, but it also gives you a little bit of a moment to think about who is not going to get one, therefore, by default. There's only three spaces. I can't exactly tell you who's who's going to get them. That would be spoilers. But there are definitely some notable exceptions who do not get uh, Mixy Maxes. And most would blame Saw for that, because he's been in the team for less than a full chapter and has barely even played football in that time, but already he gets to be part of our Ultimate Eleven squad and one of the story required Miximaxes. It's like, uh, you know, we had defenders like Itor. Itor had his own full chapter in the previous game and he somewhat became quite a popular character. He's one of the more fan favorite that I've come across. Wow, I can't believe I won that spirit duel. That's kind of crazy. But yeah, Itor is probably one of the most most notable no mixy maxes that come to mind. And, you know, he was a defender. It would have made sense to me. It would have complemented Gabby quite well. But Saur is the timeline that we chose, and uh, well, he's our flying defender. I'd like to, uh, yeah, I'd like to see Jaguar come out at some point soon because we've not had that much attention to it now. All right, Faye, you still don't have a new move yet. That's quite surprising. I think we must only be a few levels away from Faye getting his new shooting move, as um, certainly, canonically, he was supposed to have it kind of in the previous chapter to debut alongside his armified Mixy Max thingy. But um, a little bit longer to go. Um, by long, you can you can win this interaction. <laughs> I stand before you. Go on, use your warp step. Show us how talented you are. That's what we like to see. And he will um, continue to overpower us in statistics. But if you want to gain lean stats to overpower even the mighty by long, then there are plenty of ways to again break in Azuma Eleven Go Chrono Stones and make that possible. One such example, um, reverse positioning. That's one that gained quite a bit of notoriety in the fandom and made this a pretty much a write-off as a competitive game. Because I know Spain has had a couple in Azuma 11 tournaments going around, but this one was pretty infeasible because, yeah, reverse positioning, I don't know the ins and outs. I can't say I've done it for myself. But um, essentially you can kind of use the training spots around the world to completely max out one stat to the point where it's even reducing your other stats in the process. And then, uh, I think through the power of Miximax, you can then swap the stats around to your will and uh, use whatever position suits. But, and Well, the name reverse positioning comes from the fact, okay, you want Bylong to be a defender, right? He's... He's got a very high kick stat, and you can make it even higher. His defense, not too good, but um, if you were to completely max out his kick and then transfer that over to the to the defense, then 
Yeah, I'm sure the comments section can do a better job of explaining reverse positioning than I can, but needless to say, it is not something I intend to take advantage of. Whether Ace Two Shoes would want to take advantage of that in building a post-game team is another matter, but I would kind of hope not. Uh, I know that it's particularly used in building kind of the ultimate goalkeeper, because catch stats have to be balanced, but through the power of reverse positioning, oh, you can break it all right. Yeah, genuinely, if you do some reading around on this game, there are all kinds of ways to manipulate it to your favour. The only thing you can't manipulate is the drop rates on stupid pal pack items, and that's the only thing that I would want to manipulate. Oh, why would I think that I was... <laughs> After all that talk about Itor as well, now he doesn't get a mixy match, so then try to pass the ball with him, but no, he's not on the squad today. We are only... I think we're two goals in the lead now, right? Yes, we are, so the danger is somewhat passed by kind of thinking of a contingency. What happens if they actually get past us here? I haven't planned this far ahead. But yeah, uh, well, Rome is gonna get the ball moving on it. They're bringing out another fighting spirit and I don't even have an option to bring out whether I wanted to or not. Here comes Musashi indeed. That's a spirit that I haven't used a great deal since Roma learned out of armor fire. I think he pretty much learned that in his chapter in Kyoto, and then I haven't used it since. I haven't used Roma a great deal in general. Maybe I need to make some changes on that. For the time being, my tortoise shell pattern cannot be used twice. I do not have the TTP. So they're using Virtuoso when they were already pretty much in front of the goal, and essentially, they've moved my players closer to them and helped me take the ball off them. Yeah, master tactician, Ricardo. Be jealous of him, Arian, because he's such a better captain than you. He makes genius plays, like putting his players closer to my defenders so that I can take the ball off them. Yep, brilliant. Ricardo de Rigo with the same Japanese voice actress from the hero from Dragon Quest XI. I played as the hero so much in Smash Brothers Ultimate, you know, almost entirely because he's, he just sounds like Shindo. I definitely picked the default costume out of the four, because I knew long before I'd even Googled it, that voice sounds familiar. And yep, it was. Shindo's voice actress from the anime is now in Smash Brothers as the hero. I absolutely love it. It's not exactly recent news that I'm bringing up here. You know, Hero's been in the game for months now. I just hadn't actually done the Google to verify. Yes, it is Ricardo's Japanese voice actress, but there we go. We got that confirmation, and we've also got the confirmation that we have defeated the Knights of the Round Table 3-1 by abusing fighting spirits, as you do. Well, if I didn't, I'm not sure I would have won, in fairness. Could have tried taking them to penalties. Imagine taking these guys to penalties. I haven't shown it in Chrono Stones. Suddenly I have great regrets. We lost. We did it! There's logic in the madness! Thank you, Smarty. You're never going to be in this Let's Play ever again, and now Faye gets to be even more overleveled. Cease the trial! I have seen everything I need to make my judgment. What is it to be, Your Majesty? You have shown ample spirit. Welcome to the round table. We did it, Arion. We're knights of the round table. Yeah. Victory is not the only way to discern who is worthy. The true knight is one who keeps going forward, even in the face of defeat. King Arthur was watching us really closely. Well done, you two. I think we've taken the story to the end, right? Hark! A grim alarum!
They took Goldie! I should not have suffered this to happen. Who dare abduct one of my knights? This is a grave insult! Knight Senior, call a conference of the round table. Yes, your majesty. Oh dear, so Goldie getting kidnapped, that's certainly an extra thing that definitely happened. Um, I suppose we'll have to discuss how exactly we're going to rescue her in the next episode when we head inside the castle. So, hope all is to be well there. I mean, they were going for Sky, but Goldie ends up in the magic bubble instead, and uh, football is a vile, insipid sport, and we must flush it out. That's the end. That's the tweet.